Okay, today we have an upper body strength only workout. I know you guys love these gun shows. So that's what we'll be doing today. Every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. We'll be starting out with biceps and triceps. First we have to warm up. Hopefully you guys don't mind this temporary new arena uh, is my only option today. Uh, so hopefully the outside sounds of cicadas won't be a bother. Anyway, uh, yeah, so let's get started in this dungeon. I guess it's one of those arms nice and easy, just some arm circles. So make sure you keep your core strong, have those arms out, and nice and easy circles. Oh baby. Three, two, one, and let's go ahead and go the other way. Look at this dungeon. It's, it's great. This is actually my parents' garage. <laughs> and go ahead and crisscross those arms. Nice job, guys. Almost there. Let's go for three, two, one, and go ahead, shaky, shaky, shaky. Let's come on down the ground. We're gonna do some push-ups. Now, you can always do them on your knees if you need to. So, start it out, sink down, press it up. Again, come to the knees if you need to. Just make sure those arms are about 45 degrees when you come down. Bring it back up, and then also make sure your neck is neutral. Really think about pressing palms, fingertips on the ground. Let's go with three more. Last two. One more. And go ahead, shake it out, warm up that chest with anterior deltoids. Wakey, 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 wakey those arms. All right, go ahead, have your left leg forward, and then we're gonna do big arm circles with just that right arm. Oh, baby. And go ahead, bring it back. After this, we're going to grab your lightest weight, and we're going to start using that. Just a warm-up, nothing too crazy, right? And go ahead and bring it back. Woo, I always feel like a baseball player. A league of their own, baby. I'm Donna. Three, two, one, and go ahead and shake it out. All right, let's grab your lightest weight, just one. And from here, we're just going to curl, press, back, and down. Again, this is just the warm-up. I just want to get your muscles ready for the movements that we're going to be doing with heavier weights. Now remember when we do these movements, I want you to think about form over all else form above anything. Even if I'm going faster and you need to go slower, do that. And go ahead, shake it out, shakey, shakey. All right, so we're just going to do a front raise. Again, with both arms. We don't need anything too crazy. We don't want to burn out those muscles too fast. Oh, baby. Exhale, the most challenging part of that movement, unless you're talking like me. Let's go two more. Last one. And go ahead, put that weight down. All right, from here, we're going to be doing some flies, but without any weight. So let's get that stance down. Have your feet close together, lean forward, keep that back nice and flat, core strong. Bend those elbows slightly, squeeze the shoulder blades together. You can pretend you have dumbbells, should feel that squeeze in your back. Keep going. Almost there, guys. Oh, yeah. Let's go two more. Last one. And shake it out. You don't have to balance it out, but I kind of always feel like it. All right, bring those arms up, and then cactus arms down, squeeze those shoulder blades together again. Bring those arms up, squeeze shoulder blades together. This is a little bit of yoga here, but yoga is awesome, so it works. Up, squeeze, almost done with the warm up, guys. Let's go two more of this one. Squeeze, last one. And go ahead, shake it out. We're just gonna walk it out now. Walk it out. All right, so walk forward. Keep that back nice and flat. Walk it back. Again, really hitting up those shoulders, getting that core ready too, because we will be doing some plank movements. So that's gonna be awesome. All right, let's go two more. Sit down. Bring it back. All right, last one, guys. Shaky, shaky, all the way. All the way back, and woo, shake it out. I think we're ready to get started. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, I 
I want you to start out with the heaviest weight you can do with good form for regular bicep curls. So grab those weights, roll your shoulder blades back and down, palms facing out, and you're gonna squeeze those biceps. Bring it up, nice and controlled on the way down. You wanna make sure you're relaxing your traps, which is those muscles right up here. You're not tensing them up, because a lot of people put their stress there already, so we don't want to tense them up even more. And plus, we really want to isolate those biceps. If you need to and you don't have any other weight, you can always do one at a time. That's okay. And then if you start to lose form, just drop the weight down. Right now I'm using 15s. I also have 10s and 8s uh, for today. So I'll tell you if I switch out or anything like that. After this, we're going to move into triceps. It'll be biceps, triceps for a little bit. All right, so go ahead. We're going to come down the ground. We got triceps skull crushers. So grab that weight, bend the knees slightly, bring those arms up, palms facing towards each other. Move your arms back slightly. Now, skull crush. So we don't want our arms straight like this. Bring them slightly back and then add this movement in. Keeping the elbows in, try not to flare them out like this. Okay, none of that business. Have those palms facing towards each other. Control that weight. You should feel this in the back of the arms. Triceps make up more of our arms than biceps do. So, really want to make sure we strengthen them. Sorry if you hear that plane going by. Whenever there's a plane, I'm always like, where are they going? That must be fun. I love adventures. <laughs> Keep going, exhale up, inhale down, there's a spider right above me, please don't drop on me. <laughs> okay, woo! All right, back to biceps. So, bicep curl inside out, I'm definitely gonna drop the weight in this one. Uh, I'm gonna go for my 10, yeah. All right, so, you're gonna curl all the way, stop at 90, side out, back, and down. Now, when you do that side out, you wanna think about squeezing your shoulder blades together. Control that weight, and back down. So again, curl, stop 90, squeeze back and down. Keep it going. Oh yeah. Oh baby, 20 seconds. Back and down. Squeeze. So this is awesome, not only for the biceps, but we're also hitting our back a little bit. As we bring um, those arms back, shoulder blades together. Also working the forearms. Whew, back to triceps. Tricep extension, four second negative. Actually, I'm gonna keep this weight. So, because of the negative, it's gonna add a lot of time under tension. So, I'm gonna bring my dumbbells together, up, over, elbows in, and then squat down a little bit, and press up. Now I'm only down on the ground so you can see because I see that I was cut off. On the camera, you can be standing. Just make sure you're not hyperextending the spine. Now, I forgot to add the four second negative, so we're just gonna continue with triceps extensions. Real time, baby. So again, hyperextending the spine means coming back like this. This isn't yoga, sorry. Um, so you wanna make sure you squeeze that core, tuck that pelvis in, and you have a nice flat um, back and tummy. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right. So next up, single arm zombie curl. I'm gonna stick with this weight. All right. From here, palms are facing up again. Roll your shoulder blades back and down. Here, curl one arm. Turn it down. Slowly come down. Other arm. Curl. Turn. Slowly come down. Curl. Turn, slowly come down. So again, this is awesome for the biceps and the forearms. So keep that control going. Squeeze, turn, slowly come back. Why are we doing one? Because it's fun. <laughs> it's different, unilateral works really great um, for stability, for balance, because you're not you're like, yay, you're like, woo, gotta keep my core strong, you know? <laughs> and it helps get that muscle stimulation of using just one side because we're not using both sides of our arms all the time in our day. So that's fine. 
Alright. Next up, tricep push-up, side plank dip. So tricep push-up means elbows are in right by the sides. Come down, elbows in by the sides, tricep push-up, press yourself up, turn, and from here, you're just gonna dip. Okay? So other side, tricep, turn, dip, which is awesome for the shoulders and the obliques. If you need to, come down to the knees, push up, come back up to the toes. If you can't do the dip, just hold it here. You can always drop it to a leg, come back down. Another way, turn that foot all the way up. So that's always an option for you. Whoop. Try, whoop. Try to keep that hand right under that shoulder. Keep it going. Your core should also be feeling this move. You're welcome. <laughs> and dip. All right. We are back to those biceps. So, hammer curl. Three, wide scoop. Wide All right. So, grab tens. I'm grabbing my tens. From here, we're going to be doing three regular hammer curls. Palms facing towards each other. Turn them facing out. Hammer curls. So make sure your palms are not facing up towards the ceiling, but out towards the wall or wherever you are in front of you. Curl three times. Two, three. Turn them out. One, two, one more. Three, Woo. Shake it out. If you need to, remember you can always do one arm at a time. Almost there guys, 10 seconds. Two. Oh, bicep burn. After this, we're back to triceps. Because why not? All right. All right, so last tricep move. We got sphinx. So with the sphinx, press up. Um, take your time with it. I'm going to show you modification too. Come to your forearms with the sphinx pose. Press yourself up. Okay, from here, punch out, punch out, come back down. If that's too much, one, one. Then add the punch outs if you can, if not, no big deal. Come back down. If that's still too much, come to the knees. Up, up, press, press. Again, taking out the punch if you need to. So many options. Woo! Death burn, no. Keep your core strong. Don't let your lower back dip. We got shoulders after this. Keep it up, guys. Oof. Press. You can also have your feet out wider if you need more stability. Alright, so next up, prone side raises. Oh, baby, prone just means palms are facing down. Alright, so I'm going to grab my tens, keep your core strong, raise it up. Exhale up, inhale down. Remember, if you need to drop the weight, because side raises are tough. Sliders are super tough, and I also need to drop the weight sometimes, so that's okay. Whew. Keep it going, guys. After this, we're going to continue with front weight, or uh, shoulder work, and go to front raises. Whew. Exhale up, inhale down, remember to control the weight Whew. on the way down. Almost there. Whew. Oh, baby. In less than 10 seconds. Finish it out, guys. Three, two, one. Woo! Shaky, shaky. Rest it for a second if you need to. Again, yeah, we're going to do front raises now. So we're hitting the anterior, the front part of that shoulder. Just three parts of that shoulder. All right, so bring it up. Now I like to stagger my stance because it allows me to not swing my body. If I'm here, sometimes I feel tempted to swing up. And we don't want to use momentum to bring those dumbbells up. We want to use our strength. So bring it up. Again, keep your core strong. Almost there, guys. Keep it up. We're going to be a third of the way already. So you might as well just keep going. Might as well. Like, whatever. <laughs> we'll continue with shoulder work. Finish it out. Urgh, I keep looking at the timer. In strength, I always do that. I'm like, so, what you got there? What time is it? What's that? Oh, okay, one more. 
and done. Alright guys, next up we have rear delt fly, so now we're in the back of that shoulder. I'm going to grab my lightest weight, we really don't need a lot. So like in the beginning, we're coming in that chair pose, like we did in the warm up. Feet close together, back flat, bend those elbows slightly, and it's the same exact movement. That's it. Keep it flying. So you want to think about squeezing your shoulder blades together, but you also want to think about right here. So think about using those muscles to help bring up those dumbbells. Oh, we don't want to use momentum, we don't want to swing it. So keep it nice and controlled. I know it's uncomfortable, and if you start to chicken out your neck too much, drop the weight. Don't use this heavy. We want to keep it nice and controlled. 10 seconds, guys. Finish it out. Five, four, three, two, and done. All right, next up, clean and press. So we're gonna use one dumbbell. I'm gonna use my 15s. Now when you do this clean, we are using our legs a little bit. So you're gonna sink down about halfway, squeeze your glutes, pop it up, clean, and then press up that dumbbell. Stay on the same side. Again, you're using that glute strength to help bring it up, squeeze, and press. Getting those shoulders. And press. Stay on that side the entire time. So again, if you need to drop the weight, that's okay. It happens. We build up to it. Press. Keep going, guys. Press. And down, finish it out. We just have the other side then. You already know it. Whew. Press. Oh yeah. Sink. Press it. You should really feel that on the front of that shoulder. So we have the other side. Because why not? And then we'll go back to um, lateral. Lateral work. Sink it up. This movement might be really getting your heart rate up. If you can't do the clean, if you're not quite getting it, you can just stick with one arm presses. Keep your core strong. Press. Keep going, guys. Sing it up and press it. Doing awesome. Press. Finish it out. Up. Press. Squeeze that core again so you're not leaning back. You're not hurting that lower back. Keeping it nice and strong. Press back and down. Up. Press back down. Okay, so next up we have 90 degrees side raises. Oh, these are going to be tough. So I'm going to use my tens. You want your arms at 90 degrees, you're going to act like a robot. So arms at 90, raise it up, bring it down. So common mistake I see, people raise it up they extend it out like this. You want your arms still at 90, so you're really just moving right here. Ball and socket, baby. Oh yeah. If you um, need to, you can always just do one side at a time. That's okay. But really using those lateral, lateral deltoids to help bring up that weight. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep it up, guys. Ooh, shoulder work. Shoulder work is always one of the hardest for me. I find it super uncomfortable. But these shoulders aren't going to grow themselves. <laughs> so we got to do it. All right. Next up, single arm Arnold press. Go ahead and drop one weight. You're going to have palm facing towards you. And from here, you're going to twist it up and then bring it back down. Again, I'm going to kneel just so you can see the full movement. And squeeze that core. You know why. I don't have to tell you again. Now watch this wrist. See how it's like this? Try to straighten it out. If you can't, drop the weight. Gotta protect your wrist, especially when you start adding more weight. You wanna do it right from the beginning. It's sweaty. It's hot. It's like 80 out. Fair enough. It's always funny when I talk to my friends from another country because they're like, oh, it's maybe there. What? 
And I'm like, oh yeah, it's Fahrenheit. <laughs> All right, so we got the other side. Again, I'll be kneeling for this one. You can go ahead and stand. That's totally cool. And then we'll get going back to those rear delts. All right, so keep that core strong. Press it, turn and press. When we add that nice little turn here, really focusing on the anterior part of that deltoid. Oh yeah, keep that wrist straight. I have to correct myself sometimes too, to be honest. Oh yeah. Keep it up, guys. We push past that burn because we have goals. We got this. You got this. So just keep going, guys. After this, again, rear delts are coming. Woo! Press it. And bring it down. When we get uncomfortable, we start to sing. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna stick with the same weight. We're gonna come into a static lunge. If you can't put weight on your leg though, you can always use a chair to balance. I'm gonna bring my right leg forward, palm facing towards me, and I'm bringing it out, okay? So squeeze. Again, nothing about the muscles you're working. So right here, back of the shoulder, you wanna bring your arms out to a 90 degrees. Okay, nice and squeeze. I really don't think I would want to use a heavier weight for this one, to be honest. And squeeze. Keep going. Up, 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 up. Squeeze. Nice job, guys. Oh, yeah. So sweats. So grossies. So worth it. Finish it out, guys. Okay, just kidding. All right, other side. We got that other side. Eight, 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 eight. All right. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Squeeze. After this, we're going to really zone in on that back and chest. Keep going. Exhale up, inhale down. Oh baby. I know that leg might be burning, but extra bonus, strengthening your legs. We're getting stronger. So instead of thinking, oh, the agony, you think, oh, I'm getting stronger. This is nice. Both mentally and physically. Finish it out. Almost there. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with these tens. I find back movements extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> so sticking with those tens, coming to that chair pose again. We're gonna have our palms facing up and up. Sorry. Yeah, palms facing up and squeeze. Bring it up. Bring it up. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Again, back is flat. We don't like this. We don't want to push our butt out too much. And squeeze. Keep going, guys. Almost there. Oh, yeah. Last 20 seconds. There's an ant on my mat. Get out of here. You're lucky I'm not doing cardio. <laughs> Get out of here. Whatever. All right. Three. Two. Okay. So, nice up, stagger push up, side plank, kick under. So, start into a plank position, a little bit wider actually. From here, you're going to bring one hand up, stagger push up, bring it back, turn, and kick under your bottom leg. Now we have the other arm forward. Other arm forward, come to the knees if you need to. Bring it back up, twist other side, and kick. Hopefully not kicking the wall. <laughs> Keep your core strong. Bring it back. This isn't a rushed movement. So take your time with it. Take out the kickouts if you need to. Bring it back. Kick. Woo. Ten seconds. Finish it out, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright guys, we have five movements left. 
close grip chest presses. I'm driving my 15s. Lay down on the ground. You can bend your knees. If you have a bench, even better. Bring your dumbbells touch each other. You're bringing it down, squeezing dumbbells together. Again, squeeze as you press them up. Getting the inner part of that chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze them together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze them up. So it is up to you how um, effective you make this movement. You can make it easy or you can make it effective. It's easy for me to be like, yeah. <laughs> but if you start to really squeeze those dumbbells together, make them friends, and press it up, and then they're like, wait, come back. All right, so just make up that story in your head. And press. Really feeling it in my chest. Really making this move effective. That's why we're here. Hey guys, it's why we're here. <laughs> Keep going, almost there. Oh, bang. All right, nice job. Next up, we have chest fly. So I'm gonna scoop this way a little bit. I'm gonna keep my weight, bend the elbows slightly. If you have a bench again, even better. And bring it down. Squeeze those chest muscles together. Again, it's really easy to just bring it up with your arms. But you wanna think about squeezing right here, right here, right above the boobies. Okay, get that booby. Get those boobies. And bring it down. So the reason that a bench is a lot nicer is because we can get a fuller range of motion by bringing the dumbbells just a little bit lower and then press up. But if you don't, it's okay. We're still getting a really awesome benefit. Squeeze, make sure your neck is on that bench or that ground, stabilized. Control it on the way down as well. Ooh, my chest is burning. I love it. I love it. Woo, keep going. All right, nice job guys. Next up, we have reverse curls. I'm not going to use 15s. I'll use tens for this one. Palms will be facing down. So get in that curl position. Roll shoulder blades back and down. And bring them up. So these last few movements, it's going to be a lot of forearms. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Oop, sorry. Keep it going. Now, remember, you don't want to flare out your elbows when you raise up these dumbbells. You want to keep them right by your sides. Bring them up, bring it down. You should feel this at the top of those forearms. Keep going. 10 seconds, guys. Finish out. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so next up. I'm going to keep these weights, we're going to curl halfway, turn down, and then slowly come down. So it's like a zombie curl, except we're only going halfway, really focusing on those forearms. So curl, turn, and then slowly come down. Bring it back. Curl, turn, and slowly come down. Remember, it's only half a curl, so the focus is mainly on those forearms. They should be burning. Mine are. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You guys are over halfway, keep going. And back. Keep that core strong. Turn back down, 15 seconds. We only have one more move after this. Yes, 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 yes. Sometimes when I raise my eyebrow and it's just one, I always feel like I'm Sarah C. Lannister. <laughs> It's like I'm done, and then I feel a little bit sassy. My eyes like, oh, hmm, kill them all. Like, oh god. I'm talking about Game of Thrones. All right, hammer, form, curls. So, you're going to bring it up. So, you're extending out your arms and then bringing um, your, sorry, <laughs> bring your uh, dumbbells to you. You're curling. So, this time, you're not keeping it here like a regular bicep curl. You're raising it up and then adding the curl in. Again, you really should feel this in your forearms. Control it. We don't want to swing it up, okay? So it's one, two, back, and down. My forearms are definitely feeling it. Keep going, guys. Up, curl, back. We're almost to the cool down. Finish that. Woo! Five, four, three, Two, and done. Done! Yay! We did it! You guys did it. So, please do like this video before.
before you go, we are going to stretch it out. Hopefully, YouTube won't cut it off again. I don't know why I did that in my last video. The file was fine, but it happens. Luckily, we got the best parts of the workout, so that's okay. It happens. Um, but yeah, please do, again, like this video before you go. Share with your friends. Find my Facebook, Twitter, etc. Um, you can follow me at Catmosty Fitness on my Instagram. I do not have a Twitter. So, sorry about that. I don't tweet. I'm a cat, not a bird. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, uh, freaking uh, stretch it out. Right. All right, let's go ahead and get that right arm across the body and pull. You can look over that right shoulder. You should be feeling it right here. Now make sure your shoulder is up here towards your chin. Just try to shake it out, relax it, and then pull. Breathe, remember to breathe through this. It's easy to tense up, but once we breathe through it, we can get the most out of that stretch. Go ahead and shake it out. Let's go ahead and get the same arm up, back pull. We're getting the triceps, so the back of those arms now. Keep your chest open, breathe. And go ahead, shake it out, let's get the other side. Pull, 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 pull. Just let yourself relax into this. You earned it. Go ahead and shake it out. Let's get the other side. Four of those triceps. Breathe. And let's go ahead and shake it out. Nice job. All right, from here, we're gonna get a little forearm stretch for you, which is really nice. Let's have our arm out straight, hands, palms facing out. You're gonna take those palms, pull. These are awesome hand exercises for your grip, especially too, your form, especially if you do any like bar work, calisthenics kind of thing. Like I learned this one from Chris Heria, her Heria. <laughs> Shake it out, let's get palm facing down this time and pull, you don't have to put a lot of pressure, but you should feel it right here, top of that forearm. And go ahead, shake it out. Other side, so if you do have like a desk job and you find yourself uh, writing a lot or typing a lot. This, these are really good exercises for you. My friend who also does his drawings for a living, um, he yeah, has to do these stretches too. And go uh, ahead. Yeah, take care of your body, especially as you get older. You gotta, I, I'm learning. <laughs> I'm like, gosh dang, I never mind. <laughs> Shake it out. Right, let's go ahead, palms um, together, pull down. Drop that neck to the right. So you should feel this like extending here, and if your neck is super tight, you should feel that stretch in your neck. Breathe here. If you don't, stay on that right side and move your neck forward. If you feel it there, stay there. Move it back. If you feel it more there, stay there. And breathe. And go ahead and release the neck. And let's bring it to the other side. This is an awesome, another awesome stretch if you have a desk job. Take that break for yourself. And breathe. Go ahead and bring it back to center. Shake it out. Almost done, guys. So what I want you to do is relax your neck entirely. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get all the way down on your spine and your neck, but you have to relax your neck, so make sure you're not resisting. You're gonna come into clasping, and you're gonna bring it to the back of your head. And from here, tuck your chin in your chest and pull. Relaxing that neck. Slowly release those arms and then bring your neck back to neutral. Do a few neck circles. Reverse the direction. And bring it back to neutral. Shake it out. Last one, guys. Clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in, bring it up, and sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done today, yarr, yarr. We did it, you guys did it. We completed our crazy, awesome, new gun show upper body workout for the day. So hopefully you guys liked this. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Please do like the video before you go. Share it with your friends, family, on Facebook, Twitter, etc. And then I also have a link if you want to support my channel down there as well. If you guys want to let me know what kind of workouts you want to see in the future, please do. I love seeing those requests, and yeah. All right, see you guys soon. Rawr.